Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we discuss one real-time requirement. So my requirement is, we have some server tables and these servers are getting updated by Discovery or any other integration. Along with these servers, Discovery is pulling up the child tables as well. For example, see this server. This is one of the Linux server, okay? And along with that, Discovery is pulling file systems as well. But the information which is updated in file system is very less. Let's say company, location, these fields are not filled up by Discovery. But in case of server, these values are properly filled up. So what we thought in order to complete the data file system, let's transfer uh, some values from server to child table. That is those values which are exactly same, right? In case of company, in case of location, obviously these fields will be the same uh, in file system as well. In my requirement, along with these fields, there are five or 10 other fields as well. But for the time being, let's say company and location. So in order to accomplish that, I have created one flow. And that flow I want to share with you. So let's click on new. Let's update child, submit. So first of all, we have to specify the trigger. So trigger must be updating of server. So look at here. Next time, whenever discovery update this server, I want to transfer certain values like company and location to the child as well. And not one child, all the childs, okay? You see here, there are n number of childs available. Storage device, file system, software installed okay all these are child tables of this particular server table in current example i am displaying only for file systems but i will tell you how to add other child tables as well okay so let's go here click on trigger we have to choose created or updated okay in table we have to provide the parent table that is server table this one you can provide the condition as per your requirement I am not providing any condition and under advanced I have to select this run only for current table no I want to run it for all current and extended tables because I am selecting server tables and in server there are n number of tables like uh, Windows server and uh, Linux server AIX server so I want to do it for all the servers so that's why I have to choose this one done trigger is ready now I have to create actions and in each actions we will provide update on all the child table. So let me create one action here. Here we have to look for update multiple records. Okay. And here select the child table. Let's say file system. And what condition we have to provide. You see the condition is here computer equal to this computer okay so we have to select the computer field here so the computer is which one the server record because we are doing it based on update of server so server record is here just pull it like this okay so here we are saying the system update all the file system records where computer is the current one so accordingly it will run for all the servers okay whenever any server get updated now the next step is adding the fields. So what fields we have to update? We have to update the company field and update it by the company field of server table. Which server? The above server which got triggered. Okay. So here in this server record you have to pick up the company. Just drag and drop here. Okay. Now we have to update one more field that is location so location of child will be the location of server go to server record add the location okay that's it done so my action for the very first child that is file system is complete so like this you can add n number of actions in each actions you have to provide the fields as well as a table that is a child table and the process will be the same which we explained here okay so now we are done with it let's activate this so now it's time to test it so when the trigger starts the trigger starts with any update to any server of this table that is cmdb ci server so let me open this server you see the same right cmdb ci server 
and it is redirecting us to Linux server, sorry, Unix server. So this is a Unix server, okay. Let me provide some update here. And you see at the bottom, we have a file system. And in this file system, there is no location and no company right now. So let me update this, okay. I have updated the description. Let me save it. So I hope based on server update, the flow triggered. So let me go to the file system. You see here, the values are updated, right? Let me reload it. It is coming up with the same company and same location. Just compare it. Frankfurt ACME. Frankfurt ACME. Like this, you can add a number of fields and a number of child table in the flow and get your requirement done. Because whenever you open CMDB, it must be complete, right? We need a complete CMDB. So this is one of the best option what we think of. I hope you understand the requirement. Let us know if you have any doubts. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.